you welcome back to my channel as you guys have seen by the title of today's video I am going to be showing you all how I make money as a 20 year old British woman slash girl you know because these sort of videos are always really interesting to watch and as the times are getting a bit harder now like as I'm filming this Russia and UK rain are literally having a war pretty much and that is leading to prices of oil and other things increasing and you know a lot of people these days they need to make some more money so I'm actually going to be showing you how I make my money myself through a lot of different sources obviously some of them are going to be pretty normal and you're going to be thinking well that's pretty obvious but there's going to be like a few other ones where you're probably thinking oh well actually I might try that out because you know in this modern day and age there are many more ways to make your money just from your phone and stuff so it is very interesting so keep tuned but before I get into the video please make sure to leave a thumbs up it would be nice to get to a like goal of 30 likes on this video also leave a comment if you are enjoying or a new subscriber and obviously subscribe as well and without further ado let's go on with the video I've literally made a list on my phone of how I make my money because uh, most likely I will forget and in this video if I do have a bit of apathetic cough <coughs> like this yeah ignore it I don't know what's going on either to be honest it's so pathetic I don't even know why I've got it but you know what I'm just gonna roll with it so first the way on how I make my money as a 20 year old is getting a job and you may be thinking this is so obvious I understand it is obvious and obviously the majority of the people in the UK do have a full-time job, a part-time job. I currently have a part-time job. I work in a supermarket because it's a decent pay. I think I get in 9.65 an hour. I don't know if that is going to be different compared to down south because I live up north where things are slightly cheaper, like the house prices are cheaper, cars are cheaper, just the things are generally cheaper up north compared to down south. Getting a job in a supermarket is a good idea because it usually is a decent pay. You get looked after work in the supermarket, you get the good breaks, you're managed by really good people who work there as well. So yeah, getting a job is really good and you're not just working in the supermarket is high pay. I'm trying to think of other places that are high pay. There are a lot of retailers that are probably high pay as well. Um, it really just depends, but I would recommend if you've never worked in a supermarket before, you go for it because you will get you're very looked after and it is an overall good place to work. So getting a job, I know you're probably thinking that well, it's obviously really boring, but you've got to work to live. I know some people say you don't work to live, you live to work or something like that. I don't know what that saying is, but if we didn't have jobs, we would be skin and they won't be able to afford the luxuries that we have in life, you know. The next one is 21 buttons. So, I use 21 buttons now and again because it is a good way of making some extra cash. And basically what it is, you post the outfits and tag them where you got them from. And if people click the buttons, the way you've tagged your outfits from, they can buy them and you can get commission from that seller, like from the retailer. And basically... Yeah, the retailer makes money, you make money from commission and also you know, the people who've bought the item obviously get to keep the item and it's like a good a little the triangle of making money in a way so the 21 buttons is really good and if you like your outfits want to share them with people I make money, it's a great way yeah I, I don't really post this often now because I never take photos of myself in outfits because I just I'm not feeling myself but but when I'm having like a good day of outfits and stuff and how I'm looking, I will I usually post my outfits. Um, so please make sure to follow my 21 buttons. I will put a screenshot of my account and stuff. I'd recommend that. The next one is car boot sales. Me and my boyfriend, the other month, I think it was before Christmas, we actually did a car boot sale. And I think he managed to make £40. I think I managed to make around 15 20 just by selling our unwanted stuff. Like it literally is that easy you can literally bring whatever you want to the car boot sale and literally sell whatever you want and people 
who will buy stuff. Like, I'm not even joking. People buy the most random amount of stuff ever. And if you have there's something slightly more expensive, the people will obviously you want to be all over that. For example, Scott had a really old Xbox 360 and I think he might have sold it for £10. Like, I know that doesn't sound like a lot of money, but if it's been sitting in your house for years, you haven't used it, it is quite a lot of money. If you are a hoarder and you obviously like to keep a lot of stuff, you just have a big clear out and just go to a car boot sale near where you live. Honestly, it's so worth it because you can get rid of so much stuff and also make a lot of money. And I mean, Scott absolutely love car boot sales now because they're just so good for just they're getting rid of his stuff and also making some extra cash. The next one is it becoming a very popular way to make the money now, but it's they're making a YouTube channel and TikTok. Now, with YouTube, it is a lot harder to make the money off it because you need at least a thousand subscribers and you need 4,000 watch hours. Yes, that is watch hours, which is a lot of hours because. I think I only got monetized when one of my videos actually reached 50,000 views. So, the watch hours on that video is really good, which led to me to get monetized. And I have made quite a bit of money off that video, I'm not going to lie. Obviously, if you've talked, if you've TikTok, it is still difficult, but if you keep on posting consistently and posting content that people like, I think you can create. A, a TikTok, a create a fund or something, and I, I don't know how it works on TikTok. I, I don't know if, if you can have ads on your TikTok or if it's if for so many thousand views or something, you'll get a bit of money. Um, but yeah, but for YouTube, from my own experience, I would definitely go for making a YouTube channel. If it is something you've wanted to do for a while, I would highly recommend making a YouTube channel, start posting what you want, and for me, it did take a couple of years until I became monetized. It's probably three years actually. But if you love the posting videos and everything like that, it will work out in the end. And now YouTube is a part-time income for me now, which is really good. Um, and it can be really good to pay as well. Like the per thousand views on my videos on average, I think I'm getting six pounds fifty up to around £11 at the moment so my CPM is pretty high which is really good so if you have your good months with CPM it's so worth it. Next up is trading now this is this is something I have kind of gotten into I'll explain so basically I have downloaded an, I have downloaded an app called free trade and basically you can put however much money you want into a business so I think I've actually put two pounds into apple which is barely anything i know because i was also not going to put like a grand in i also just want to try out first but basically with trading i don't know a lot about it all and because i've i'm only new to it but basically you can have shares in companies for example apple i think i've actually done it with google as well wait a minute guys there's an ambulance going past my house yes yeah, so i think i've actually got shares with apple and Google. I've only put a couple of pounds in because I don't want to break the bank and potentially lose my money but when there's dips in the shares of the business that means the money's always going to go up after the dip so what I did was obviously put some money into it when there was like a big dip and once it's it went up again I've made a bit of money from that. Not a lot but if trading is something you want to get into I, I would recommend it is something I would be it, it wanting to know more about but to be honest I would not know where to start but I highly recommend downloading free trade because it is a starting point into your potential trading career who knows but you hear of stories of people who make millions or, or, or even billions or even hundreds of thousands of pounds from literally trading so it's obviously working for some people you know, I think it does take time and you've got to be very sensible with how you use your money, I think. Well, obviously, but yeah, it's quite a big thing these days. Also, selling your old stuff. So kind of on with the same line as the car boot sales, but if you're not able to get to a car boot sale and you'd rather do it from home, you can sell stuff on Depop, eBay, 
Look, where else is there? Vinted. Uh, what else is there? That like Spock place. Sorry, camera cut out. But basically, as I was saying, you can literally sell old clothes, handbags, shoes, anything you want. I mean, it's probably better selling the technology bits like phones and laptops and stuff online because if you've car boot sales people they literally want anything for nothing and I mean yeah, that does happen online but sometimes if you sell something more valuable people are willing to pay more money for it so yeah definitely have a look at different selling apps I mean the Depop is really strict if what it, you can sell on there and I have actually been banned from there from selling I think I tried to sell a handbag and to be honest it it was a designer handbag. The Depop is probably you're very strict with what you sell, but I think eBay and the Vinted are really good. And what else is there? I like selling on Gumtree and even Facebook Marketplace, even though it, it with Facebook Marketplace there can be some dodgy people about, but yeah. They're definitely selling all what your stuff online is a good way to make some money as well if you have anything lying about. Finally, something I have been doing. I've not actually won as of yet but it's basically entering the competitions on the raffle aid if you've never heard of it it's a family run business a mother and daughter and basically they do the weekly raffles i think they do a competition on tuesday and a thursday and you can win the cash prizes and just other prizes in general and i've actually entered one for a louis vuitton handbag so definitely enter it before it obviously ends but i've entered giveaways for seven and a half thousand five hundred pounds eight thousand pounds and i was two numbers away from the winning and you can literally enter for 99p it's so cheap i know that some people may not be in a position to be able to do that but if you are and you just want to try your luck or maybe like you're feeling lucky it definitely it definitely goes to raffle aid it is a genuine company family owned as i said and they do the live draws every week but yeah it's a good way to potentially win some money and you can maybe invest with that money save it you can do anything with that money really but anyway guys here is the end of my video i am aware that the lighting is getting really dark so good job i actually filmed it here when i did but if this video has helped you guys maybe start to earn some money, please make sure to leave them. So comment down below. Also, please make sure to subscribe and I will see you all in my next video.